What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James from Mint Hunter Comics. Get some coffee, take some notes, grab some lube. Today, we're going over the top 100 DC quarter scale statues that I want to see made. All right, guys, we got 100 characters to talk about, so I'm going to make this quick. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below. I'm going to have you write your top five from this list of 100. I shouldn't have to say this, but if you don't see a character on this list, that's probably because they've been made. The major developers of these statues are Sideshow, XM Studios, Iron Studios, Prime One Studios, Queen Studios, but... There's always custom groups that do whatever they want. Those are the groups a little more likely to make a lot of these. A lot of you know I collect DC quarter scale pieces, so this list is not going to feature Marvel. I will be doing a separate video for that. Also, I'm only collecting quarter scale statues. So, if you see a character on this that's had a third scale statue, it's on this list because a quarter scale statue hasn't been made yet. Let's start it off at 100. This is Victor Zaz. I don't have a lot of love for this dude. I think he is a cool character, albeit kind of a minor one. But he keeps showing up in movies and shows. I know. Or at least seems fair. So, I think he deserves to be on this list. Serial killer madman would make a great addition. Next up, we got Orca. Badass killer whale with a face only a crocodile could love. She would demand a lot of space, but I would love having such a freak of a character in my collection. Moving on down the list, we got Metallo. Kind of an underrated character here, but a great Superman villain. I've got a custom one coming in. Here's a brief glimpse. I can't tell you where it's from. All I can tell you, it's a work in progress, and it's going to be incorporating a lot more elements into it. <laughs> Superman, from me to you. Number 97, we got Batman Red Rain. Now, this is Vampire Batman to a lot of you guys. While I don't want too many Elseworlds characters in this, Batman Red Rain is one of the best Batman books you can ever read. It scared the crap of me when I was a kid. I gotta have that statue in my collection. Next up, we got Ragman. Dude in rags from Gotham. You gotta check this character out. This would be a really cool statue to have. Would you have it in mixed media, or would you have it sculpted? I don't know, but Ragman would certainly look nice with my heroes. Next up, we got Maxwell Lord. He's on this list because he's such a notable Wonder Woman villain. Problem is... He is just a dude. You would have to really make him special somehow to make him pop in a statue form, and that's why he's so low. Next up, we got Firestorm, and my dreams are coming true because a custom group is doing this. Can't show you who, but I can show you the full render. Is it true you've got an arrow cave? It's called the Quiver now. Better, but still lame. Can't wait for that one to drop. Next up, we got Dead Man. You guys probably know I'm a huge Justice League Dark fan. Dead Man is one of my favorite characters in the DC Universe. He's the coolest dude ever, and he's got a great color scheme going for him. It would look really nice next to my Swamp Thing. Some of that red would solve some of the more muddy greens of Swamp Thing. Speaking of red characters, we got Wally West's Flash. He is the more funny Flash, in my opinion. I was a big 90s guy. I'm a huge Wally West fan. I love the dude and I would love to see a statue made of him. Next up, we got one of the biggest douchebags in the DC Villains lineup. This is Major Force. I want this dude almost just for his color scheme. I was a big fan of the Kyle Rayner Green Lantern 90s comics and he was a big adversary there. Would really go well if they make a Kyle Rayner. Stay tuned for that. Next up, here's a character I don't love much but you can't deny that a statue should be made. It's Mera. <laughs> She's Aquaman's main hoe. She's absolutely gorgeous. She would look great. I'm just not so much into the character, but maybe I'd be into the statue. Next up, let's get some diversity in here. We got Black Lightning. I would love one of these. And actually, there's a custom group who's thinking about doing it, but there's not enough interest to get it off the floor. If they get enough interest, this is what's going to be made. Next on the list, we got Rorschach. Now, I actually owned a custom Dr. Manhattan statue, and I sold it because... I didn't like the idea of having the Watchmen universe in with mine. I want the main canon DC universe. And something about Watchmen, I know Alan Moore never intended it to be part of the DC universe, so I like it being separate, but if they made a Rorschach, I would get it. 
Next up, we got Owlman. This is another universe's kind of copycat of Batman, but villain. This would be a cool, kind of underappreciated Batman villain to have here and would look great with my villains lineup. You're insane. Does it really matter? There are alternate versions of me that you would find quite charming. Up next, we got my least favorite Green Lantern, but still a great character and a great dude. We got Simon Baz. I want to get all the Green Lanterns, so it only makes sense that they toss him in. You guys know how much of a Tim Drake fan I am, so obviously I had to include his girl Spoiler on this list. Her purples would make a nice addition to my hero side of things. And I think Stephanie Brown's a really cool character, so not only do I love the character, but I think a, a statue in her name would be dope. Moving on, we got Grifter from Wildcast. This dude's popularity is rising. He's being in Batman, the upcoming James Tinian run. My problem, I think he looks a little bit too much like Deadpool meets Red Hood for me, but could be a cool statue. Here we got the big bad Kronos. So this is actually a villain to Adam. And this would be a serious time traveling awesome dude to have in my collection. Would look great with the villains. Plus, underrated as hell. Speaking of which, of course the next one's gonna be Adam. I mean, how great would that be to have Kronos and then Adam with the hero's side? Okay, I'm just gonna be direct. <laughs> Next up, Lady Shiva. Not only am I hunting for a perfect 9.8 of her first appearance, I would kill for a statue of Lady Shiva. The mother of my favorite Bat family member, she is just too badass not to have. Up next, Plastic Man. This one would be fun as hell. I, I don't even know how you would do it. Your possibilities are endless with what you could do with Plastic Man. Dude's funny as hell. I would love to have him in the collection. <laughs> Next up, Superboy, the Connor Kent version. Now there is one being made right now. If it gets off the floor, this is what we're gonna be potentially looking at. Pretty freaking sweet. Next up is more of an entity than an actual character, and that is Parallax. The giant, weird, lizard-looking dragon entity of fear from the color spectrum in the Green Lantern universe. Obviously, it would be cool if you could have Sinestro controlling it or something, but I already have a Sinestro, so let's just get a Parallax statue. That would be sick. Next up, I'm surprised this one hasn't been made, Dr. Fate, but lucky for me, I got a custom group that's making it as we speak, and it'll be hitting my review table within a few months. We got Dr. Fate. Two voices in one mind. I'll silence June's conscience soon enough. Demons must be slain. Now you can't have Swamp Thing without having the Floronic Man, so let's get him in there. I would love to see a cool, underappreciated villain like Floronic Man make his way onto my villain side. That would be sick. Alright, you know I started my statue collection with Batman, so I gotta get some Batman villains in here. Some of them still haven't been made. Let's go Ventriloquist with Scarface, obviously. This would look great. I got a 9.8 of their first appearance. It only makes sense that I have a statue of it, too. This next one is a custom group's worst nightmare, but one of their biggest challenges. We got Anti-Monitor. Big frickin' dude, multiverse-eating motherfucker. I actually saw a really low edition size on eBay. I think there were only, like, five made. Thought about getting it a few times, but it's just too much money, and I still think it's a little too short. I would love to see a licensed company make one, or a taller custom. Next up, we got the Manhunters. This is the DC's version of the Sentinels. It only makes sense to have all these Green Lanterns that we have one of their biggest bad, the Manhunters, coming in. Next up, here's one that has a third scale statue. Let's go Katana. She's kind of an anti-hero, a little bit more on the hero side. She's with Batman and the Outsiders. She would be a really cool statue to have and would look nice with the Bat family. Harley Quinn, nice to meet ya. Love your perfume. What is that, the scent of death? Moving along, we got Mongol. Again, great color scheme villain here. Kind of a Green Lantern and Superman villain. Would look absolutely great, but they'd have to make him huge. Speaking of huge, we would gotta get Ares in here. Not the one from the Wonder Woman movie. Let's get the real badass dude with all the armor and craziness. I'd love to see that. Adding to my hero line, let's go old school, Red Tornado. Now, no one's done this yet, but again, another custom group gave me permission to show a picture. It's not off the ground yet, it needs more interest, 
but here's what it'll look like if it does get made. Next up, with Milestone making a big comeback, it only makes sense that I'd include their big bad icon. I'd love to have him in here. He's been merging with DC. He would look great in my collection. Next up, we got Robot Man slash anyone from Doom Patrol. The show has been extremely popular and brought a lot of these characters into life, so I could even see one of the big ones like XM, maybe even Sideshow doing any of these characters. We'll see. What the fuck? That's my line, asshole. Next up, keeping it Batman, we got Professor Pig. Made his first appearance in Batman 666, so you know he's a devilish dude. He would absolutely look great. A pig-themed serial killer? What's not to love? All right, next, I really want this. Let's get a bat mite. The weird little impish little Batman creature from another universe that used to piss off Batman. Let's get him in a statue. Here's one to put next to Darkseid. Let's go Big Barda. I wouldn't necessarily say this very often, but I think that's a great character and would look really nice with my Darkseid. Here's another one I want just for the color scheme. Let's get Star Sapphire in here. Carol Ferris from the Green Lantern universe. If I could get her in a Star Sapphire suit, not only would that be really hot, I think that would look great in my Heroes lineup. Next up, I want a super decked out chrome version of Steel. How freaking sweet would that look? Shining as you enter the room, I want it actually metal and everything. This can totally be done. I'd love to see it happen. Body of Steel. It's hammer time. <laughs> What a magnetic personality. Every time I see this dude in comics, I think he's expertly written. From any artist to any writer. Bronze Tiger. Let's get him. He has so many different looks to him, so you could really choose whatever you want. Still singing the same song. Now, Wilson, the mercenary with a conscience. The rest of us, we're beneath you. This next one would be gigantic, but I'd love to have him in the collection. We're talking Raven's dad, Trigon. I don't know how they'd pull this off, and it would have to be in many different pieces, but I would totally buy that. Next up, we're going a little underrated here. Anybody heard of Prometheus? One of the most powerful JLA bad guys. He is a severe threat, and he would make an awesome statue. Kind of looks a little bit like Ares, though. Next up, Amazo. How can you not have this dude? Amazo has all the powers of the Justice League. The one I'm kind of thinking is the one that pops up in the pages of Red Hood. That would look pretty sick. It's called Amazo. What the hell is an Amazo? A highly advanced cybernetic android equipped with the ability to absorb the power of superhumans. What kind of superhumans? Big ones. Next up, Firefly. If we could get a Firefly with maybe a little bit of translucent resin fire coming out of him or something, that would look absolutely dope and would finish my Batman line. The next one, I have a lot of hope that it will be made someday. We got Blue Beetle coming in here. I don't have the biggest connection to this character, I'll be real with you guys, but I do have a connection with how dope I think his costume looks. Here's one on the surface that might look a little boring, but with a little bit of tweaking and concept, you could make it cool. Phantom Stranger. He kind of looks like a dude in a trench coat, but he's one of the most powerful DC characters, and I'd love to have him in the collection. This next dude looks like a tadpole, and I'm okay with it. Let's go Saint Walker, the Blue Lantern. I would love to have this. The Blue Lanterns are my favorite lantern core, other than the Green Lanterns, and would just look sick with all the other statues I got going on. Next, we got Etrigan, the demon. Dude only talks in bars. You guys know I would love to have this in the collection. Again, just like Dead Man, he would go great with Swamp Thing, fulfilling that Justice League dark side. And I have a custom one coming in, which I am allowed to show a picture of. Check it out. Next one, I'll keep this one simple. A little surprised it hasn't been done. I have his first appearance in the 9.8. We got Black Mask. Just an easy one. You wouldn't have to do a complicated base or anything. Just keep him gangster, keep him with the black mask. This is another surprising one that hasn't been made, Deadshot. There was a third scale version of him, but it was canceled. We still needed that quarter scale version of him. I'd love to have him up here. All right, now we're in the top 50. You can't have a top 50 without having General Zod. Again, a little surprised this one hasn't been made. General Zod, it's just perfect. I don't have the biggest connection to the character, but I love him whenever he's in the movies or in the comics, so it just makes sense. I like more obscure characters, but I do find it odd that he hasn't been made yet. Next up, 
Ocean Master. Believe it or not, I still don't have an Aquaman in my collection. There have been some good ones made, but I'm holding out for one that's going to be really great. And when I get it, I really want to have an Ocean Master facing off. Join me or die. You expect me to address you as your highness? Not your highness. Call me Ocean Master. Black Hand. You guys know I'm a big Green Lantern fan. I actually thought Blackest Night is one of the best DC Comics storylines ever written. And Black Hand would be perfect for my villain lineup. And of course, how can I not have Black Hand without also having Necron? I would actually be, think it would be really cool if they did a Black Hand Necron diorama, something like that. Maybe him raising Necron from the dead. I don't know, but that would be dope. Here's kind of a humorous one, but I'd love to have it. Let's get Starro in here. Just a giant freaking starfish. You could even have him like wall mountable or something. I could put him behind everybody. Who knows? Next up, this dude's been controversial lately, but KG Beast. I know some custom groups that are thinking about doing this one, but I haven't seen any renders, and it's only talks right now. But let's get the big bad Russian mercenary in here and under our top 50. Detective Comics 608 is the first appearance of Anarchy, and I remember reading this as a kid and falling in love with the character. I don't think he's done enough. I think he's a great character. I love his outfit. I love the golden freaky mask. Very V for Vendetta-esque. Hector Hammond. Dude with a giant head, Green Lantern villain. It would look disgusting, but hey, that hasn't turned me off in the past. Next, we got Solomon Grundy, another Batman character, and I actually have a custom one that is coming in, but that would be dope if Sideshow or XM could pick it up for the rest of the world. Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday, christened on Tuesday, married on Wednesday. Keeping it Green Lantern, let's go Jessica Cruz. First becomes Green Lantern in Justice League 50 in 2016, and she's caught the eye ever since. What a great character, would look great in my collection. XM did a 1-6 scale version of her, but where is our fourth scale? All right, now we got the redhead jackass. We got Guy Gardner. This would just make perfect sense with the rest of my Green Lanterns. I think Sideshow will most likely do him one day. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think I was above fighting dirty, did you? Here's another one that's a little surprising. Bizarro. No one's made it yet. I did know that a custom group of mine was looking into it, but I haven't seen any renders. So in the meantime, it's still up for the grabs. Let's get our Bizarro. Prime One just dropped their third scale of Talon, and it looks amazing. These are the moments where I wish I collected third scale. Unfortunately, I stick to quarter scale, so let's get a Talon or some sort of Court of Owls in a quarter scale statue. Kind of a great joke one, but I genuinely love this character. Let's go Kite Man. Tom King kind of made this dude really come out. He was in the Harley Quinn animated show. He's kind of a joke character, but he's actually got some deep undertones of a past. Kite Man. Hell yeah. Gotta have Mr. Miracle, would provide a lot of nice color scheme in with the heroes. I don't have the biggest connection to this dude, but I know that a statue would make me really happy. One of my favorite villains coming up, we got Larflees. This is the Soul Keeper of the Orange Lantern and the Orange Lantern Corps. This dude is hilarious. If you guys haven't read Jeff John's Green Lantern run, he's just hilarious. I gotta have this in my collection. Similarly, next up is Atrocitus. Now... There's a custom group that I know that they did about 30, and it hasn't come out yet, but this is atrocitous we're talking about, so this is going to be huge. Next up, let's get Mr. Mind, Shazam's Worm Arch Nemesis. This would be sweet, and you know what? It would be a really cheap statue, because he's just a worm. How expensive could that be? It's going to be tiny. Oh, what fun we're going to have together. The seven realms are about to be ours. <laughs> Speaking of tiny, let's go with Dr. Psycho, Wonder Woman's arch nemesis. Well, maybe not her main arch nemesis, but certainly one of them. Having this dude maybe in some sort of pose where he's using his mind powers would be absolutely dope. Next up, we got Cyborg Superman. Same deal, Prime One made an awesome third scale of this. I would love if they could like just shrink it down for me, but unfortunately they can't. 
I will say I was given permission this morning to show a work in process render of their Cyborg Superman. This is going to be an easy purchase for me. Alan Scott, Golden Age Green Lantern. Let's get him in his cape. Let's get him doing all his craziness. I do have a render of one company that wants to make him, but there's not enough interest to get it off the floor. Next up, here's Clayface, and I'm really surprised this hasn't been made yet. XM, Queen Studios, Iron Studios, Sideshow. Really surprised this hasn't been done. Uh, that being said, I got a custom one that'll be hitting the review table within the next year with an extremely low edition size. Black Adam, let's get him, slash Shazam. I want a diorama of these two, or at least Black Adam on his own and Shazam facing off against him. It just makes perfect sense. XM Studios made a great 1-6 of Shazam. I wish I could just blow it up and get it in quarter scale, but let's just get this done, guys. Give me a freaking Shazam and Black Adam. Here's one where the possibilities are endless, Beast Boy. Why has this not been done? He could be a freaking tiger. He could be a dog. He could do whatever you want with him. All he has to be is just green. I'm thinking about actually getting like a statue of like some sort of tiger and just painting it green myself, but I don't know if I trust my paint abilities that much. Speaking of Milestone, it's back with Static. I would love to have this big electric base under him. This would look absolutely killer. Guys, we're in the top 25 now. Here's the ones I really want to see made. A lot of these I'm very hopeful for. Booster Gold and Skeets, the best superhero that you've never heard of, to quote the man himself. This dude would bring it home for the color scheme for our collection. I love this guy. I especially loved him in Batman The Gift by Tom King. Next up, I want Hugo Strange, but I want him specifically in a bat costume. Obsessed with Bruce Wayne and that he discovered the secret, I want him dressed up as Batman. I think that would be absolutely killer. Here's another big boy coming in. I want King Shark on my table here. Let's get it done. With the new video game coming up, the new Suicide Squad movie, and he's been in Harley Quinn the Animated Series, his popularity is going up pretty high. Let's get him. Mm, I'm guessing you're the one having trouble finding a nemesis. Well, we put the profile up and we're not getting any bites. Is that a shark joke? If so, it's very funny. <laughs> I saw one custom group do this next one, but I didn't love it. I want to see Sideshow, Sideshow specifically, do a Raven. Little surprise that hasn't been done. Let's get this one. She is all-powerful. She's absolutely great. A lot of people are huge fans of her. And she would just look great. Next up, let's get another Batman villain in here. Man Bat. Your potential for this is anywhere. Licensed or custom, I don't care. Somebody make me a freaking man bat. I want to see it done. It would look amazing. <laughs> now we got my second favorite Green Lantern ever, Kilowog. Another gigantic dude, this time for the hero's side. I got a lot of potential big bads of villains coming in. Let's get the big bad hero. Number 19 goes to Hush. What a great character from such a great, iconic story from the last 20 years. Who's to say he can't also be a great statue as well? You could have him in the rags, or maybe an alternate Bruce Wayne head sculpt. Next up, Penguin. A lot of people actually put this as number one. Not for me. I think it's not my number one because I know he's going to be made eventually. You know, it'd be great to have that villain in my collection. Custom companies have dabbled a little bit in it, but I've never gotten to own one. I think there's a lot of room for a licensed company to take this on. Spread your wings, Mr. KG Bird. We're flying you down to headquarters. On what charge, boy wonder? Illegal umbrella. Next up, we got Constantine. This dude is actually one of my favorite, more supernatural-enabled type of dudes from the DC Universe. I also think he's pretty funny, and I like the fact that he's always smoking. I can show you a work-in-progress render from one company that's trying to tackle this. Next up, here's a character you guys may not know. It's actually Krona. He's on a lot of lists of top 10 biggest bads in the DC Universe. All-powerful ex-guardian of Oa. This little dude would kill it and would look absolutely evil for our collection. Getting kind of close to our number one. Next up, we have Red Hood. Little surprise that a licensed company hasn't done this one yet. Luckily for me, I got a Red Hood custom coming in, but it will be hitting the review table in under a year.
think you guys will find as I get closer to number one, I like the biggest, most powerful, yet maybe more obscure characters. So we're bringing up now with the Spectre. Let's get Spectre. That would be absolutely crazy. A lot of people put him as the most powerful being in the DC Universe. That would just be sick. Would you have him large or would you have him human-sized? I don't really know. You could really do both, but this would be killer. Next up, Kyle Rayner. White Lantern? Maybe? Kyle Rayner has been kind of the main White Lantern dude that we know, but obviously he started as the Green Lantern. I could go either way. I don't care. Someone just make him. Make my day. Next up, please somebody make me a Gorilla Grodd. I want to see a realistic looking giant gorilla dude sitting on my villain side of things. He's a very famous villain. I'm a little surprised he hasn't been done yet. Probably because it's so challenging, honestly, to get that sculpt right. But I'd love to see it. Next up is Hawkman. I have seen licensed companies do a third scale. I found one custom on eBay. I've had my eye on it for a while. It's too expensive. I don't think it looks amazing. Let's get a Hawkman. Come on. The next one I know I'm going to mispronounce. We got Mr. Mix's Piddlick. How'd I do? Mr. Mixel Plick? No! Repeat after me, bright boy. It's Mix. Yes. We got Superman's bad guy here, and one of the best little funny little imp looking dudes in the universe. He's also one of the most powerful ones there is, and you could do whatever you want with him. Your possibility and creativity is endless for this piece. Let's see it done. Anyone who's read Sinestro Corps War knows how awesome Superboy Prime is. Let's get the big bad. And I want him shirtless, I don't say that too often, with that S carved into his chest. I think that would look absolutely sick. Here's one that I have been patiently waiting for Sideshow to do, and no one's done this in quarter scale yet. Martian Manhunter, the Oreo-loving green alien from Mars. Let's get him. How hard can it be to do one of people's most popular JLA members? Kitty. Getting close now. Next up is Two-Face. This is going to be an artist's joygasm to make this guy. Wouldn't it be fun to create your own crazy cut-in-half dude with a crazy face? You'd think so, but no one's done it yet. In quarter scale, that is. It's not about what I want. It's about what's fair! Number six, guys, Azrael. And I don't mean the Nightfall version. I want Azrael as the agent of the bat Azrael. I want him in his cool costume. I don't want that modern one that was in the Arkham games. I want the dude with the red suit. I love this character. He had his own run with a hundred comics, and yet he kind of has disappeared since. Let's get him in a quarter scale. I would kill to see him there. Number five, Tim Drake, one of the most underrated and misused, miswritten characters. The last 10 years has not been kind to this dude, but I'm a 90s guy. He was my favorite Robin, the third Robin. Would you have him as Red Robin as a statue, or would you have him do his red costume statue, or would you just keep it the regular old 90s Robin statue? I don't care. Just make me a Tim Drake. Number four, Cassandra Kane. You could have her as Orphan or Batgirl. Cassandra Kane is my favorite Bat member family, daughter of Lady Shiva. She's the baddest bitch in DC, I think. There's nothing she can't do. Even Batman knows he can't beat her. Wait, where's Orphan? <laughs> was really clay face or just not care you're gonna regret that kid number three Raz al ghul i would actually love specifically for xm studios to do this i think xm studios would do this justice i would love to see an xm studios Raz al ghul but i wouldn't be picky if anyone wanted to make this he is one of my favorite batman villains and i love the respect he has for Batman. I always thought that that was a cool angle. Number two, this one's a complete shock that this hasn't been done. Nightwing. There have been third scales. There have been talks about doing a quarter scale. There has been one custom that I can think of 
but it wasn't very good. Why can't we just get Nightwing? Everybody loves Nightwing. Let's go. How do I have a Red Hood coming in before I have Nightwing? How do I have a Damian Wayne coming in before I have Nightwing? What, what is this world? All right, guys, you ready for the number one statue that I want to see made the most out of everything else here? You already know it's going to be Captain Carrot. Let's not fool around. I love this character. There's nothing he can't do. His rabbit physics and would be one of the best statues to have, even if only as a joke. This would be a great character to have in my collection. And talk about breaking up the format. Wouldn't it be awesome to have a, just a rabbit with a carrot on its chest? in between my Green Lantern and Etrigan and all that. All right, now let's just make the video go viral so custom companies feel obligated to make these characters for me. Please share this video, get it out there, comment below, like, subscribe, do what you can, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love each and every one of you. You've made this so much fun for me. I can't wait to see what the future holds for all these characters and these statues. This is James from Mint Hunter Comics, and keep on collecting.